Okay, boys, so I've just got my Hentex setup here. Uh, this is the uh, 1008 uh, uh, Charlie. And uh, I just wanted to discuss the uh, horizontal setup for just a minute. Um, just to uh, make you aware of some limitations. If you're dealing with a very slow analog signal, um, let's say we're talking about uh, APP sensor or the uh, uh, throttle position sensor type trace where things are changing very, very slow. We're talking in seconds, really, you know, with respect to the time base. Um, there's some serious limitations um, if you're in the wrong mode with respect to the horizontal setup. Um, I, I, potentially on other scopes as well, but I'm only speaking to the, uh, to the cheapy Handtech uh, 1080. Uh, 1008 uh, Charlie at the moment, right? So uh, right now, um, let me select, let me start with a normal mode, uh, just for starters here. So the time base is actually set for uh, 500 milliseconds, half a second per division, 10 divisions on the graticule, so five seconds to, uh, to go across the screen entirely, right? So let me just come back here and I'll show you if you're dealing with very, very slow changing voltages, just keep an eye on the try and, try and correlate what's going on on the power supply with what's going on on screen. So you can see the changes on the power supply there. Nothing happening on screen until we have an update around every five seconds. So what's happening is being recorded in a buffer, true. You're not gonna miss it, but you can't correlate what's going on with what's actually on screen. It's not really making any sense. This is this is not going to come as any news to any experienced scope users, but for, for newbies, like myself, I still consider myself a newbie scope user, this can be actually quite confusing, quite discombobulating, right? So a better choice is actually to go to the horizontal. Sorry, uh, maybe I should dim this a wee bit. Let me just dim this a wee bit, boys. Okay, now we're back. Maybe that's a bit clearer. I think things were getting a wee bit washed out there before. So we can go to the, again, the horizontal setup. Horizontal setup, we can actually select. Let's, let's select scan mode. We'll leave it in the same time base. And by the way, the scan mode will select automatically if you select, I think it's anything uh, 200 milliseconds or slower, will select automatically. And you'll notice there is a change in the enunciation. Uh, it goes to scan mode up in the center of the screen upper portion portion center of the screen and now you can see the trace is actually going across so if something happens on screen uh, if something happens let me back you up so you can see both the power supply and the screen so now you can see there's actually changes roughly happening in real time but I say roughly for a reason I don't know if you noticed on the trace there Watch what's happening. The trace is actually disappearing for essentially three seconds in scan mode. You see that? Watch your trace as it goes across screen. It disappears, one, two, three, then reappears. So the shortcoming of that is of course, And I'll just try and catch it in the right time here. Watch the changes on the power supply versus the screen. You saw nothing. So if that's happening, when, when uh, the trace happens to disappear, you're going to miss it entirely. That's the scan mode, right? So what mode I actually prefer to use, again, back to the horizontal setup selection, roll. Of course, the power supply cooling fan kicks in right on, uh, right on uh, cue. And again, this I'm only talking about for slow, slow time bases here, guys, right? Again, analog signals that are changing very, very slowly. Accelerator pedal position and throttle, pedal, uh, throttle uh, position sensor are two, two useful uh, examples, right? So now you can see we have, a, we have the trace scrolling from left to right or sorry, right to left, as opposed to the scan mode, which is the other way around. But there is no, there is never a drop off screen. So you're catching everything. 
Let me zoom out so you can see. Again, the changes I'm making here. Everything is transpiring pretty much in real time on screen. Okay, so I'll leave it at that, boys. I don't want to drag this out. I hope that makes some sense. Again, roll mode is where you want to be. Again, in the horizontal setup selection. Um, if you don't have the, uh, if you don't have the um, the icon set up on your page, you can actually go to setup, and then of course it's uh, horizontal and you can select it from there as far as the YT format is concerned, right? So anyway, uh, I hope that makes some sense, boys. And again, we're talking about just in, um, um, for slow, slow time bases, this is an issue. Uh, it does get a wee bit confusing. I've made some mistakes in my, in my past videos, actually, um, where I should have been in, in roll mode. So we could see the likes of a trace on a position transducer or potentiometer. Um, it's been, you know, uh, second rate as far as the my capacity to explain things during the video because I've been in the wrong mode so that's actually just something I've noticed looking at my back catalog and seeing what mistakes I've made in my previous videos so make sure you're in the right mode um, otherwise you might not be capturing things as clearly uh, as you should I mean the entire point to your scope is to convey things graphically to you so you can understand what's going on if you're in the wrong mode um, you're not maximizing the value your scope actually has to offer. Anyway, uh, as I said, guys who are experienced with scopes are going to be well aware of this, boys. Um, but I thought it might be well uh, worthwhile actually passing it on. So I hope that makes some sense.